てのんきなやつにダディアート3回間にある通りにたどだき愛愛がないことに気がつかない窒息する前に叫ぼうぜほう Never changes. Even the ninety one model runs one point three million yen. Crap, man, this S thirteen is too expensive. Like I figured, I'm gonna have to go with the eight six. That baby's the only real possibility. Cause no matter what, it's gotta be an FR. Right, talk to me. Talk to me. Are you even listening to me? Of course I'm listening to you, Itsuki. You were about to tell me how much it's gonna cost to get that 86 you've been staring at. This one's marked at 300,000, but it hasn't passed inspection. And how much money do you have socked away so far? Like 50,000? Long way to go. I know. It's depressing. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to make a quick buck around here! Even if we kicked it up to full time at the gas station during the summer break, we'd still only make like 120,000 yen at most. There's gotta be a better job around here. I didn't know you guys had part-time jobs. <laughs> Natsuki. Well, you don't have to act so shocked. Is it that weird that I talk to you? No, not really. So you were saying, you'd only make 120,000 yen working full-time this summer? How many hours a day is that? Like 12 or more. Huh? A full month's worth of work and that's all you're walking away with? Yeah, it could be worse. At least we got jobs. We're high school students. We get paid like crap because they can get away with it. I wouldn't know. I've never worked a part-time job before. I never had to. Hey, good luck with your summer jobs, you guys. All of us should really get together and hang out once finals are over. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Dude, did you hear that? She wants to get together. Me out on a date with Natsuki? Sweet! That'd be so cool! Hey, why didn't you tell me she dug me so hard? You never even bothered to mention to me that the two Probably because she and I haven't even talked to each other in about a year or so. Huh? 
We used to belong to the same after-school club. Up until sometime last summer, we were pretty much still friends, I thought. What are you babbling on about, buddy? I mean, really, no one cares. Oh, Natsuki the hottie, I've had my eye on you for as long as you've been strutting your stuff, and baby Itsuki's ready for ya! Takumi, back to planet Earth, man. We're gonna get busted if we don't get to grammar fast. The test is in like two minutes. Oh, crap. Wait up. I got an idea. Why don't you and I go in on the 8-6 together? We pull our money and we'll be able to afford the loan payments easy. That's a terrible idea. Why do you want a car that much anyway? Doesn't your family already have one? Just use theirs if you need it so bad. That piece is no freaking good. My old man's been driving that automatic front wheel drive into the ground for a decade plus. Not to mention it's diesel. The thing sucks out loud. Calling it a car is an insult to cars everywhere. You know what I mean? If it has all four tires and gets you from point A to point B, then it's a car. You don't get it, man. I wouldn't consider anything a car that doesn't deliver a good time on the mountain. What's so much fun about driving on the mountain? <gasps> what you think, doofus? You drive as fast as you can, challenging the corners! The corners, huh? That's really the kind of thing you do for fun? <gasps> I wouldn't be doing it if it was boring! Look, you're a dude, right? And you're telling me you don't feel the unquenchable desire to tackle those raging hairpins? I don't know. Maybe I'm just burned out on that kind of stuff. How could you be burned out? We just got our licenses last month. We're babies in the driving world. Looking cute, sweetheart. I always love the way you wear that outfit. Thanks. It's just my school uniform. I was talking with this friend of mine at school, and he was telling me a little bit about the job he's got lined up for the summer break. He said after working the entire summer, sometimes with shifts that are over 12 hours a day, he's probably only going to end up bringing in like 120,000 yen. <laughs> yes, that sounds about right. Guess it's a lot harder to earn money than I thought. I should be more considerate. I've seen you spend more than that on me in a month without even blinking an eye. It makes me feel kind of bad. Are you really okay with spending that much on me? Of course I am, sweetheart. You're worth it. I am? Maybe I just don't get it. Thank you for your business! Talk to me, I really want you to put a little more thought into going in on the 8-6 with me. Dude, I'm telling you, it'd be seriously awesome! Let the 8-6 go. <laughs> Didn't realize you guys had such good taste. The 8-6 is a truly decent ride. <laughs> See, listen to Ikitani. He knows what he's talking about, and he says I'm a genius. I didn't say that. I said the 8-6 is a good car. You hear that? Yeah, I heard it. But if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I could pick an 8-6 out of a lineup. <laughs> Who makes that thing, anyway? Why don't you drink some of this high octane? Put some car power in your head. How can you work here and not know what an 8-6 is? Don't you ever open your eyes at work? I don't know. I guess I'm not surprised. You two are in... What, second or third grade when the 9-2 model came out? Only car I know is the old one we use for deliveries. <laughs> ah, which is a junker! Even if an 8-6 is old, it's not really old, it's a vintage! So, Ikitane, when we buy our 8-6, do you think you'd let us join your team? I've always dreamt of being on the Oculus Speed Stars. Yeah, sure. Oh, speaking of, it's Saturday, so the team's gonna meet up at Mount Akina tonight for a couple practice runs. You guys should come along, too. You mean we're actually invited? <laughs> but we don't have a car to get us there. I can give you a ride, stupid. <laughs> you let us run in your S13! I'm in, I am in, I am so totally freaking in! <laughs> and you're going to talk to me! <laughs> I mean, this kind of thing just doesn't drop I don't know why he's so day. excited. I never said anything team. about we wanting to go. Man. Cool, pick you dudes up at the bus stop around 8. See you, man! You're taking them, huh? Which mountain are you going to? Come on, boss, you know Mount Akina is the only mountain around here worth racing on. And the Speed Stars are the fastest team on Akina anyway. We gotta defend our territory. Well, you're not the only guys I've heard around here saying that, you know. Back when I was still racing, there was this one fella. Everyone knew that he was the fastest, undisputed, couldn't be beat. And after all these years, he still drives Mount Akina. You're kidding me. I know every last driver who goes up and down that course, and no offense, but not a single one of them is an old-timer. 
He just drives during a different time of the day than you and all your buddies. And he's got a good reason. He happens to own a tofu shop. Uh? At around 4 a.m., he always leaves on his deliveries. He has to make his rounds, taking tofu to all the hotels at Lake Akina. That guy's downhill speed is something out of this world. And because this is his business, the guy's out there every day, rain or snow. It doesn't matter. He knows the smallest stain on the asphalt of that road. Mark my words, Ikatani, the fastest downhill car in Akina is an 8.6 that delivers uh, tofu. The tofu shop 8.6? What do you think you're doing? Sneaking out? I got plans with Itsuki. We're just gonna hang out and stuff. Don't care what you do. Just don't make me drag your ass out of bed in the morning. After the last time, I don't think you need to remind me. See you in the morning, yeah? Yeah. Get it, talk to me! You're totally blowing Ikitani's concentration! You think I can? I'll scream all I want! I'm scared for my freaking life! I'm used to it, man. People tend to get scared first time they ride with a real street racer. Here goes a hairpin turn in second. <laughs> talk to me, would you please shut the hell up? Tonight, I'm gonna cut loose out there. For real, man. I'm sick of keeping everything fine. You okay, buddy? You look kind of sick. I didn't think you'd freak like that. I was just in the mood to push the car, so I may have done it a little hard for your taste. <laughs> You're such a freaking baby, Takumi. What's wrong with you? I bet you'd scream for your life on a roller coaster at the park. I like roller coasters, Itsuki. You know that. This is something completely different, something I don't think you could possibly understand. And even if I could explain it, you couldn't wrap your head around this crazy fear I have inside. I don't get it myself. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never seen these guys before. And if they're headed up to Akina at this time of night, something must be going down on the mountain. Looks like we got some company, boys. Why are the Red Suns here? I've heard those guys are the fastest drivers in Akagi. Initial D. Initial D. All right, listen up. We're the Akagi Red Sons. Maybe you heard about us. I don't want to start off sounding like a prick, but the only thing I want to know is who the fastest team or the fastest driver is on this mountain. Anyone want to claim that? We're the Akina Speed Stars, and if you came up here looking for the fastest drivers on this mountain, well, you're staring at them, hotshot. That was easier than I thought it'd be. How about we hold a practice between our teams? We could do it right here in Akina. Could be fun. <laughs> this is nuts. They have no idea what they're in for. <laughs> I knew this would be a sweet Friday night. What do you say, guys? We've been going up against the same people over and over. It's gotten to be a little too routine for our taste. We want to mix it up. Running against new teams will give us the chance to face a new challenge. We can exchange some ideas, maybe even make some friends. Sure, we'll probably let a few team secrets slip here and there, but in the long run, I think we'll all be able to improve. First, let's do a run together. After that, each team sends one driver head-to-head -head in both an uphill and downhill. Doesn't matter who wins. Let's just build some solidarity between teams. If he's gonna put it so damn politely, how are we supposed to say no? <laughs> all right. What do you say we meet up next Saturday, right here at 10 o'clock? Sure, you got it, pal. I think we're just gonna take it easy on the runs tonight, if that's cool with you guys. I told you this was gonna be awesome, didn't I? <laughs> those 
punks think they can intimidate us. They got another thing coming. Yeah! What are you gonna do, Ikitani? I'm gonna keep my eye on the Takahashi brothers, see why people call them the fastest in Akagi. The Takahashi brothers? You mean the dudes who've been in all the magazines with all the pictures and all the crazy hot chicks? Yeah, those are the ones. They're also known as the Rotary Brothers. What about us? Can we come with you? Sorry, Itsuki. When I make a serious run, I don't like to go at it with passengers in the car. You two wait here. I'll pick you up in a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking embarrassing, man! Why are we the only two losers up here without a car? <laughs> Hey, Itsuki, is it really as much fun as you say it is to be a street racer? <laughs> I don't understand. Everybody seems so excited about it, but what's the big deal? No, I'm the one who doesn't understand. You can hear those cars squealing around the corners, right? Trying desperately to catch up with each other, pushing the limits, and that doesn't get you worked up at all? That should get me worked up? Fujiwara Tofu Shop, how can I help you? Well, what a surprise. Yours was about the last voice I expected to hear. It's good to talk to you, too. Is that how you greet an old friend you haven't talked to in ages? You know, the other day, you passed me on your way back from a delivery. I signaled you, but you blew right by me like I was nobody. Real sorry to disappoint you, but that wasn't me. Had to be. It was your 8-6. <laughs> okay, you caught me. It was my car that you saw, but I wasn't the one driving it at the time. My son Takami's delivering tofu to the hotels now. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Since when? I guess about five years now. That kid's been running deliveries for you since he was in the seventh grade? <laughs> guys at all. The Red Suns are faster than I thought. I'm pushing my limits here, and I still can't keep up. So, brother, what are you thinking? I think if that's the best competition they can offer, we could beat them without a practice run. We'll leave our top drivers at home next week. I'm even gonna pass on the race. Well, if you're not racing, then I'm not gonna bother either. No, you need to do it. I want you to set a record for this course. Something these locals will never be able to break, not even on their best day. If we don't do that, the name of the Akaki Red Suns will never become legendary. Gotcha. First thing we do is set new records for every single course in this prefecture. Then we hit Saitama, Kanagawa, Tokyo, and Chiba. After that, we'll have every record in the Kanto region. When we do, we'll be legends. Then we can basically kick back and retire. That's my plan for the Red Suns. I call it the fastest Encanto project. They're pretty awesome, and their style is completely different from ours. I just can't believe how badly we got beat on our own home turf. It's embarrassing. They put some cash into their suspensions, and their horsepower. No way we can compete with the Red Suns, I'm telling you. But we can't just say no, either. He's right, we'll look like total cowards if we walk now. I get what you're saying, but Guts alone aren't gonna beat these guys. I know that. We need something more. It's getting late, guys. Let's go ahead and bail. We'll get together tomorrow and figure this mess out. If you didn't know, street racers don't like losing. Sometimes we get way too serious about our challenges, and the absolute worst thing that can happen is to lose to an outsider on your home course. It's an unwritten law of street racing. Hey, Keisuke. Where's your brother? Oh, he went home. Been gone a while. We're the only ones still left up here. Looks like the sun is about to start coming up. Maybe it's time for us to start heading back, too.
If I just stay on top of my game, I'll be driving the Red Sun's anchor position before you know it. Four. Three. And finally catching up. Two. That's not one of our guys. Is that an MR2 or a 180? Nice driving, Chief, but after two corners, you won't even be a speck in my rearview mirror. It's hard for my FD to outrun a jumped out old 86. This has got to be some kind of nightmare. I just hope I wake up soon. I'm the number two driver of the Akagi Red Suns, damn it! <laughs> Doesn't that idiot even know this road? After this slow right is a sharp left. There's a ravine on the other side. He's got to hit the brakes. I knew it. That freaking idiot's going in way too fast. There's no room to slow down. He's going into that guardrail. Whoa! What the hell? Inertia drift. you personally for waiting it's finally here initial d what did you think of takami's super drift technique racing that 1.6 liter non-turbo 86 of his against a high-end 350 horsepower fd cool huh and for those of you out there who dig the technical talk initial d delivers all the essentials next time we got another killer race coming your way don't miss it